Connor McHugh continues our team coverage tonight. Connor, we know that you talked with parents of students at the high school. Yeah, Karen, some of those parents tell us they found out what happened this afternoon and rushed right here to Aurora Central High School. It led to lines of cars around the building and down the road and led to a small crowd of parents waiting outside here, hoping to get in touch with their kids and bring them home. Now that couldn't happen right away, though, at least for an hour. That's because while the shooting did not happen on school grounds, police first said the school was put on a lockdown, then what's called a secure perimeter. Now for all that time, officers kept watch outside the school and again, parents and some students waited around for the time that they could all leave. Now, several of those parents we spoke with had either talked to or texted with their student and did know they were safe. Some told us they were shocked and fed up with violence in this area, especially around the high school. Others were just ready to bring their loved one home safely. The number one thing is to make sure they're okay. You know, everything's okay, then the, the, the weight's off your shoulders. So as of now, as, as long as I got that, she's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm alive, I'm, I'm good, I'm healthy. That's all that matters. Now, the school did start a controlled release of students around 3.15 p.m. As you can see, there aren't many students left here. That is all finished up. Still, though, a scary day here at Aurora Central High School as the teens involved uh, do know many of the students here. Live tonight in Aurora, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.